Hi everyone, Comic Reviewer here, this time reviewing on Season 3 of Star Wars Clone Wars 2003 TV Series Review. Now, as you know, the 2003 Star Wars Clone Wars TV Series that I covered was meant to be a micro-series that was developed and created by Genny Katoski, who also did Samurai Jack, Sembuk Titans, Primal, and Jet Dexter's Laboratory. Now, Season 3, I would say, is where it starts off basically, basically near the start of Episode 3, and does explain a lot of things that happened before the events of the third film. Now, the premise of the story is meant to be mostly about how Kid, Kid on a Mooney, Shakti, and Ayla Secura manage to escape with their lives from General Grievous. And what's interesting is one Jedi from the Dark Horse comics, K. Kirk, actually did survive, and even in Star Wars Legacy, and even in Order 66, would survive until Disney bought Star Wars out. So we kind of see how 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 the Jedi are now realizing that they're gonna need the extra help and decide to grant Anakin the title of Jedi Knight. And I think this is where you can kind of tell Anakin feels like he's finally gone the distance. He's finally gotten what he wanted. And we see throughout out out the Clone Wars how how each side wins a victory a, a victory. We see how one side wins from that one, and how that side loses one war. And I think this does work. And I feel with General Grievous' character in the film, they do try to build him up as a believable threat, but I feel is a little wasted potential, as I feel they do have him as a formidable foe, but really don't do much with him. And I feel like when we also do see how Anakin goes to an alien planet and we see how he he goes through one of the trials by the now bends when he goes into the trial we see how the cave paintings give this detailed like story of how a warrior eventually lo loses his arm and nearly wipes out his village and what makes it spookier is that it the painting eventually forms into Darth Vader, giving you this glimpse of what you are going to see eventually in the future. And I think what's interesting as well is, eventually we would see the ideas for Episode 3. We would see how the clone troopers get new suits, we would eventually see new sort of vehicles, new weaponry and that being used by both sides. And we would eventually see see the battle on Naboo and how it all started and seeing how and the foreshadowing to how Palpatine plans it all out like a simple chess game which I think does work and I would also say as well what I think season 3 gets right is when we do see how Anakin goes to Naboo to see Padme we do see his scar and in the comics, Anakin got his scar by Ventress, who did survive, but eventually gave him the scar and left. And we, when we do see the lights in, in Padme's room being turned off, it gives you that hint and foreshadowing to Padme's pregnancy with Luke and Leia, which I think definitely works. And I also do feel what the ending does get right is that it kind of has Anakin and Obi-Wan getting ready on a dangerous rescue mission to rescue Palpatine. And yeah, it actually does lead up to the opening of Revenge of the Sith, where we would see Anakin's downfall to its full core. I think what Season 3 gets right is, when Anakin confronts the Techno-Union soldiers, it gives you the first hint to how Anakin is more willing to cross the line and showing how far he's going to go which i think does work 
So I think while well, Season 3 isn't perfect, it gives you this final thing with five chapters. So I think this one definitely deserves a thumbs up. Still good, and still alright. And I feel the 2003 series is quick, but it knows what it wants to do. I think eventually when we did get, get the 2008 Star Wars The Clone Wars story, it actually gives you the full story you expected in a couple of years. And they really know how to have done what they wanted to. And I know as well that the 2003 Star Wars Clone Wars series had graphic novel adventures and other stories we would probably wouldn't see be done in animation form. So I think this series was definitely alright. I think it deserves another thumbs up for the series. So, Comic Reviewer here, signing out.